Yeah, looking at your career, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting path. It's probably not a straight line, like some people would, would, would uh, predict. Can you talk about that? I mean, you've got students, a lot of whom are going to graduate in the next year or so, and thinking about what they want to do, and the unpredictable crooked path as opposed to the straight mm -hmm. line. You know, it's funny, at OWN, where uh, that, this net network with the on-air promotion people have actually developed a, 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 a sort of a short-form concept that runs the network called Life is Not a Straight Line, and it addresses this very thing. I mean, anybody, I remember when I was in college, I was with kids, and they knew exactly what they were going to do, you know, when they were 22 years old. I was, wow. I felt such, such a loss. I didn't have a clue. Some people do, but I do think... Um, you have to be ready for, you know, your life is a crooked path. There's things you want to do in your life, and uh, there's things you've wanted to do up until now, but the other thing that's hard to count on is that things are going to happen to you um, <clears throat> that you didn't anticipate that you're going to have to adjust to. I mean, you could get fired, you could fall out of love with a career, you might have to move to another country, any number of things. So I'm a big believer in uh, flexibility, and if the underlying theme is having a more interesting life, it's like, don't settle for anything less than what you love to do. And if what you love to do at some point comes to a stop for any number of reasons, find something else that you love to do. Don't waste your precious time working in a business or a career that you have no inherent interest in, unless you're just trying to accumulate some money and, and go somewhere. So I think the more interesting life is to, is to have a few chapters. And that's not uncommon these days. And I know that employers, when they uh, talk to people for jobs, and I used to do this myself, I would find it more interesting to find someone who had done this, had been successful, quit or left, morphed into another job, maybe dropped out, took a gap year, traveled around the world. I always love people who do that because that builds up a lot of confidence in them. And they, I think they become uh, much more attuned uh, in this globalized world to being successful. So it makes for a more interesting life. If somehow something doesn't work out, well, just gear up and try again. I would, that isn't always as easy as it sounds, but the main thing, the main precious quantity is your time, you know, because you only have so much of it. So you might as well use it in a way that brings you some pleasure, because if you're going to be successful, like I said earlier, you're going to have to work hard, and if you're going to have to work hard, you better like it. So don't be afraid to jump around, I guess is my, is my message.